name is Marcelo Black, I'm 13 years old. I study at TS in Barra in Brazil. Today I'm going to talk about how, why do I think that a game can be considered a form of art. What is art? According to the Oxford Dictionary, art is the expression and application of human creative skill and imagination. Typically in a visual form, such as painting, sculpting, or producing works to be appreciated by their, by their beauty or emotional power. So by that, we can say mainly two things. One, anything that sincerely promotes you is a kind of art. And two, uh, anything that a human being puts the effort into making is, is considered art. But it doesn't have to be anything good. Just, some, just something you put your passion into making. Why do I think that a mere game can be as artistic as in, as in Michelangelo's sculpture? Well, let me explain. First of all, a game can be as interpretive as any other form of art I've shown before. By that I'm saying, by that I mean that you can enjoy yourself playing a game as you would by dancing or listening to music. A 21st century game can be can be beautiful and, and yet terrible at the same time. When when we're talking about a, a beauty of a game, we're talking about its graphics. We're not talking about just its graphics. We're talking about the whole package, the soundtrack, the visuals. Now I'm gonna show a, a, a clip of Journey, a, a really good game. Games have made a big change in history, just as the radio made 70 years ago. They changed the, the industry as a whole, exchanging the technology game for more entertaining one, or changed the big old arcades that we, that we knew into the little things known today as home consoles. Gamers have been here since the beginning of this era, making appearances such as a nerd stereotype, and shy and introverted, just trying to play their games. But nowadays, it changed. Anyone in the street is a potential gamer because of the spreading of the epidemic that is gaming. However, to other people, a movie is different from a game because in a game, you are the player. You, you make the history of the game. And in a film, the creators of it make a, make a, a linear story. They make you feel empathy. From to the character. Just as the game industry grew, people, passionate people, uh, thought it would be a, a good idea to make events uh, to celebrate what the whole thing had become. Because again, it's not only known for it for it for being an awesome means of entertainment. It's also known for bringing people together. Today, we have a lot of game conventions. But now I'm going to show just four examples. GameXP, E3, BGS, and Gamescom, which happens in Brazil, Brazil, America, and Germany. In conclusion, I think, I truly believe that in the future, there, there will be art museums only dedicated to games, because for, for the future generations to experience what we all have or will have in the future, the, the passionate and beautiful thing that is game.